What's going on everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom and today I've got some brand new and some unreleased Funko Pops to take a look at. We got some cool stuff happening here so be sure to hit that thumbs up button and join the Box Attack Facebook group if you have not already. That link is down below in the description for you but without any further delay, let's get into it. First up we have the MTV Moon Person. Look at how shiny that is. This is not a new pop but this one is, and let's move that guy out of the side. This is the Funko Hollywood exclusive MTV Moon person, and it is gold, as you can see, and it looks pretty dang cool. Now, there is a story behind this, and I wanna get into that real quick, actually. So, let's go ahead and, uh, ooh, hold on, pre-order happening. Spicy noodles, right now, spicy noodles, you guys. Anyway, story time behind the gold MTV Moon person, right? We actually had uh, back, uh, when was this? August 28th, an image of this showed up, and you can see right there in the corner, it has the Funko Shop sticker on it. And well, that is because this moon person was actually given out uh, as part of a press package for uh, the, uh, the VMA Awards that I think just recently happened. And so they sent out a bunch of these to influencers and they had a Funko Shop sticker on them and they were going to be given away allegedly at the MTV Music Awards in, uh, in the Video Music Awards in swag bags. Like, you know, when you leave, they give you a bag full of cool stuff if you're an important person or whatever. And this was going to be one of those items in there. Well, as most of you know, the VMAs didn't happen like in person with an audience, I believe. Like not like they were expecting to. So uh, Funko took them all off their hands again, took them back and they re-stickered them. They put the Funko Hollywood sticker on there and called it a day basically. And that's kind of how these went. There weren't very many of them either. I mean, there were under, under 2000 of them because they weren't, you know, they were only going to be given to select a number of people at the event. So that is the alleged story. Um, half of it uh, was detective work, and the other half was actually given to me from a buddy of mine that I'm not sure if I can say his name or not. So, uh, you know, whatever. You guys get the story here, though. That is the story with the gold MTV moon person, and I won't drag it on too much longer, but I do want to take it out of the box and just take a quick little look at it because that's how I am. I like to see these things, and especially the gold one. Like I knew when the silver one came out, I was like, oh, we're gonna see a gold one. There's no way. This one, look at that. That is pretty cool looking. Nice and shiny, right? Like, I don't know, I think it's cool. And it's head moves, hey, look at that. So, this is the gold moon person. Not much else to see here, not a lot of detail. And I did do a video on the silver one uh, a while back. I can't remember exactly when, but it was a while ago. I'm sure some of you remember that video. But yeah, we have the gold MTV Moon person, and this just hit Funko Hollywood not that long ago, but I think it's sold out. I don't know if it's gonna restock at Hollywood or not. I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but um, I do know that it's cool. It's here right now. I wanted to show you guys in case you hadn't seen it up close. And again, here's the whole box. Kind of have the same thing as on the silver one. We just have the gold glam on the side. Restickered for Funko Hollywood was not originally intended to be that, but hmm, which should we go with next? Let's move on. Next up, we are checking out, yes, this is Taz as the Flash. Uh, this is an FYE exclusive. They're actually doing a whole line of Looney Tunes pops dressed as different Justice League characters. And obviously you guys know, I'm a fan of the Flash. So this was a must have. Now this, I don't think this is quite out yet by the time you're seeing this video, but it will be soon. Uh, like I said, this is an FYE exclusive. It's part of the 80 years of Bugs Bunny. And uh, there will be other ones such as uh, Babs as Wonder Woman. I think there's Sylvester as something else. There's uh, Bugs Bunny as Superman. And so this, like I said, is Taz as the Flash. And I wanna take it out, show you guys a little peekaroo of uh, the Taz as the Flash Pop. We got one of these new style uh, divider things in here. You know, I saw somebody talk about these, not to uh, off track here, how they didn't like them because they create a double glare on the window. I actually do agree with that. So when it's in the box, you have the glare from the window and then you have the glare from the front of the, the little insert in front of the pop. I agree with that. I think that's a valid point, but look at this. This is super cool. Wow, this is really awesome. And I love the like the kind of texture that we have in the cyclone there. See all those spots, that spotted texture? 
This is cool. And if anyone was to be the Flash, I mean, Taz is totally perfect for that. And I think they carried across the likeness of both characters. Obviously, it's not that hard to get the likeness of the Flash because you just have the Flash logo and, on, and these on the side of his head. But I think that that is perfect for this, this character. Look at that. This is an awesome pop. Man, I might need to go scoop me up another one of these for out of box to put with the Flash collection because this is definitely going into my Flash collection, even though it's technically Looney Tunes, but I have other ones like Domo and I have Sheldon Cooper as the Flash. So it doesn't have to be strictly Flash. It just has to be Flash related. Taz definitely fits the bill there. And this is a pretty cool pop. I mean, I think that it's pretty awesome. I think the whole DC and uh, Looney Tunes collaboration is pretty cool. And like I said, FYE exclusive right here. And this is number 844 on the line, Taz as the Flash. And there's the back side of the box. I know I posted this on Instagram the other day and everybody was like, show us the back of the box. And I was like, wait for the video. Well, I didn't really say that, but I wanted to say that. Anyway, we have another unreleased pop to get into. So let's check it out. Next up, we have a pop here that is too big to even fit entirely on my camera. This is Mewtwo. 10 inch version, obviously. We have the special edition sticker here. This is exclusive to Target, but it is not out yet. I think it comes out either late this month or early October. Um, you can see on the back here, uh, we just have the standard lineup right here. Um, this is number 583. This regular size Mewtwo is 581. There's a flocked version of it that was exclusive to San Diego Comic-Con. And we are going to open this up and take a look at it because I have actually, I think I have all of the 10 inch Pokemon pops to date, and I ain't got no shame in that game. I love me some tennis pops and Pokemon. Definitely awesome when I was a kid. Still awesome, but wow! I've never seen a 10 inch pop that came with a standalone stand. Hold on. So, I've seen 10 inch pops that have the built in stand, like the Star Wars ones, right? And you can see we have holes on the bottom right here. That is because we have a giant pop stand. Has there ever been another pop that came with its own like stand like this? I don't think so. I'm not sure. Look, he can actually stand up on his own just fine, but barely. So I get why they put the stand in here and I have no problem with that. I just think it's interesting. There we go. That's pretty interesting. Anyway, let's look at the pop real quick. This thing looks mean. I really like it. I really dig this pop and what they've done with it here. Pretty cool looking Mewtwo. 10 inch Mewtwo, I dig it. The stand is kind of a pain in the butt if you ask me. Oh, and by the way, if you want to get your hands on Mewtwo right here, um, I actually picked this up from Shumi, so you can get it early if you go ahead and check that link in the description below. Mewtwo though, 10 inch Mewtwo, coming to Target very soon. I think it's pretty awesome. And I got one more thing to show you. Lastly, we have one other 10 inch pop that actually has been out for a while and I have slacked on making this video, but I figured it was good to put with Mewtwo. As you can see, we have Vulpix. And this is another giant pop that is going in my 10 inch pop collection. I have to like peek over this box. Ugh. For any of you that don't know, I keep all of my 10 inch pops out of the box because they deserve to have a little oxygen. Oh my goodness. These big pops like this, that, there's another one, what? Oh my gosh. I'm just like st struck by this. We have another stand. This, these are the only two I've ever seen and coincidentally they're in the same video. Again, they do the same thing with the holes, different shape. I don't know. This is crazy though. You would think that that would be able to stand all right by itself. Yeah, I mean, it really doesn't have a problem. Not as much as Mewtwo does, but I just hate lining these things up. Ugh, there we go, okay. See, I do like though, I do like, I will say that they, they made these detachable. Man, it smells like a doctor's office. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but it does. Um, Volpix though, pretty cool. Oh, look, this is weird. There's like some, uh, glue from the factory. I don't know if you guys can see that highlight there. I'll probably have to like wipe that off. Vulpix looks pretty cool though. Obviously it looks exactly like the smaller version. 
I think the bigger versions of these pops are really cool because they're, I guess they're more life size than, uh, than the smaller ones. These are pretty awesome, if you ask me. I don't know. Uh, all, all this stuff is pretty awesome. I'm actually really excited about uh, this new line coming to FYE. Anyway, this is the haul. Um, we have two unreleased ones and a new one and Vulpix because I was lazy and SDCC caught up with me. Anyway, uh, let's bring the Silver Moon Man up out here just for a second to give us, give it some a love, a little bit of love. Wow. I, ain't I, I don't know why it, smells, it reminds me of a doctor's office. <laughs> anyway, let me know which one of these is your favorite down in the comments section below. Uh, have you picked up any of these? Are you going to pick up any of these? Let me know with your thoughts down there in the comments and uh, be sure to check out the Box Tech Facebook group that's linked in the description below and hit this thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and also if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. So thank you so much for watching everyone. I really do appreciate it. Once again, this has been Box Attack and a big shout out to everybody over on Patreon because I almost forgot that. Sorry guys. I appreciate you guys so much, and if you want to join up with Patreon, I send them pops out of my collection every single month, so you can check that out using the link below as well. But again, appreciate all of you so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this has been Box Attack. I'm Dom, and we'll catch you later.